This nation should commit itself to achieving the goal What's up, everybody? Hello. It's your boy, cameraman. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. She's back. <laughs> drinking the water. Mm -hmm. So, why are you drinking a gallon of water, Shirley? Long story short, <laughs> it's Wednesday. Yes. July 18th. We have a powerlifting meet this Sunday, the 22nd. Yes. We decided to end our little weight loss cut with a water cut. Yes. To make weight for our competition. You want to explain that process? Yes, I do. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, past three months, we've been on a very slow weight cut. Mm -hmm. We've managed to get down to within five pounds of both of our weight classes. And now it's the week of, so we're doing the rest by strictly using water manipulation. In its first day, which was Monday, mm -hmm. we're front loading. Two gallons of water. Two gallons of water that day. A lot of water. A lot of peeing. Yes. As a result, <laughs> we had to pee a lot. So through the water cut, you're trying to convince your body to go into a flushing mode to get out all the water that you're putting in. Mm -hmm. What that'll do is that'll trigger a hormonal response in the body and you're not going to hold on to a bunch of water. As a result, because of the flushing, you're going to lose water. Yeah. So at the beginning of the week, we mm -hmm. overloaded on water. And throughout the week, we are cutting down on water. Cutting down, yes. cutting down. Like and, today, mm -hmm. Wednesday, we're down to drinking just one gallon of water. Yeah. Thursday, Tomorrow, a half gallon, half gallon. and so on. Yeah. Until you make weight mm -hmm. and then weigh in. Right. Typically, this is done throughout combat sports, fighting, boxing in particular. I used to be a boxer. You did this, this a was, lot. I used to have to lose about 12 pounds in three days. Even at that time, it wasn't very difficult. It was, it was doable. We got five pounds to lose in a yeah, week. Yeah, it's not a lot. So. It's not the most extreme. So no. That's so, good. Because this is the uh, basically the deload week for us. Right. All the work has been done. Now we're just trying to rest and recover. Right, exactly. So that's what we're doing with the water. Mm -hmm. um, we're still able to drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> might change in a couple days. Might change in a couple might days. Might get a little cranky. That's That'll be me because I get I get cranky like really easily. <laughs> yeah. A powerlifting meet. You don't have to cut weight. You don't have to. There are weight classes. You mm -hmm. don't have to cut weight. You know to get into the weight classes though. Whatever you can walk in, get weight, and whatever you weigh, you lift. whatever you fall into is the weight class that you lift in. However, you come from a competitive background and yes, so do I. This is a competition. Yeah. So why not be competitive? That's pretty much the reason for us trying to make the weight classes that we're trying to currently make is just to be a little more competitive the day of. And we weren't that far away from Five the weight pounds. class anyways. A little yeah. extra work won't do us any harm. No risk. It's not very strenuous with the way we're doing it and where we're at right now currently. We'll make weight. It's not hard. Like I said, I'm already down two or three pounds. Shirley's already down two pounds, so yeah, we're making it. This is both of our first meet ever. Ever. We started powerlifting what, two years ago. Yeah, seriously. Like yeah, it's two seriously years getting ago. into it two years ago, and mm -hmm. this will be the first one. We both have decided to go with the WNPF. WMPF stands for the World Natural Powerlifting Federation. A couple reasons why we chose to go with them for the very first meet. Number one. We're natural? <laughs> yes. I know it doesn't look like it, but we are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we are natural. Um, oh, but I know the number one reason. Yeah. Because it's right in our backyard, basically. It's Despite super close. Despite being natural, <laughs> we all, it's also located like, like five minutes, minutes away. away. It's or really five. close to where we're at. So we figured, why not why give it a not? shot? It's in our backyard. We've never done one before. Let's do it. Perfect opportunity to get our feet wet. Exactly. We've actually seen one. Right. A competition that they have put on. And it Three looks back. looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. Everyone was having a great time. Um, it looked like it was being run very smoothly. Yeah. You know, there were no complaints that day. And it's in our backyard. Um, it's a natural show. 
So that's why we're doing that one as our first one. Yeah. Me prep. Me prep. Me prep. For the past 12 weeks, we've been on a powerlifting peaking block. How has that been going for you? Going good. Um, yeah, of course, you know, every day is not great, but you still <laughs> like get through it anyways. Yeah. I feel like the prep was good. I feel like everything that we programmed, everything that we hit uh, is on point each week. I feel like it has left me in a good place to be ready for Sunday. I've done all that I could to be the best I can that day. Mm -hmm. And now all I have to do is go to Sunday. Past 12 weeks, we've been in our peaking block. And like Shirley said, it's it's gone rather well. We've hit all the numbers we were supposed to hit. Mm. You know, there's been no real surprises, no real bumps in the road. We've maintained our health. Mm -hmm. uh, we've pushed through workouts. They've been tough. Uh, we've accumulated a lot of fatigue. Because the last few training sessions were yeah. a little rough. Yeah, the, the last two weeks, the body was feeling banged up. The mm -hmm. intensity was driven way up. Yeah. But the volume was, you know, was lowered. Joints, knees, back. Elbows were starting to feel a little raw. Some days were like extremely rough where felt like I was running a mile during the workout <laughs> of gas. Other than that, like I said, the numbers, you know, the sets, reps, like the programming, it all came together. Mm -hmm. I feel good. I feel good about it. I feel like yeah. we're going to do very well. For something like this, you don't know what's going to happen that day. You don't know how you're going to feel. You don't know if you're going to hit something that you want to hit, a weight that you want to hit. You don't know anything. That's part of the preparation process and why like we take it so seriously. We take the whole aspect of prep seriously because yeah. why not prepare for something like this to do your best, yeah. even though it's not guaranteed, but you can do everything in your power to make mm -hmm. it run smoothly, why not do it? We've controlled all controllable variables. Sleep, yeah. stress, food, food, training. Training, we've taken care of all that. But at the end of the day, what I love about powerlifting, it is a competition. You, you have to competing. perform. Mm -hmm. You never know when it comes to that, mm -hmm. as all the athletes can attest, you know, day of the competition, anything can happen. Anything can so, happen. So nervous. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> Why powerlifting? You go first. Okay, I'll go first. I've been an athlete my entire life. Played football, basketball, I ran track. I used to be a boxer. I was a professional rugby player. I love competition. I love phys the physical nature of sports. And because of that, I've always been into weightlifting. You, you have to lift weights when you play contact sports. You gotta get bigger, you gotta get stronger. And I fell in love with that since the day I started doing it. Powerlifting was just kind of a no-brainer to me. I always liked being big. I always liked being strong. I, I like getting better at those kind of things. It was only a matter of time before I slowly crept into, into the, the, the realm of powerlifting. Yeah. Well, for me, it's a little different. I come from a professional dance. Yes, like ballet, modern jazz, tap, <laughs> hip hop. I come from that type of a background where when I was, you know, in the college state of dance, that's where like fitness and exercise and all of that was introduced to me. Being a dancer since I was six and growing up, getting older into high school, like, yeah, working out was like always a part of it, never to like a serious extent mm -hmm. ever. Um, and even in college, it wasn't like super serious, but I always loved it. I've worked with personal trainers multiple times. I knew a little bit about it. Long story short, when I was done dancing, I wanted to transition into training, being a personal trainer. And that's where um, I kind of like fell in love with training instead of like fitness. Yeah. Like I liked to train. I started with bodybuilding splits and not knowing much of what I was doing just yet, like I just kind of like fell into that thing and yeah. I was like, oh, I've, I've had like a thin like dancer body and I wanted to gain muscle. So I started doing like bodybuilding splits and all of that. That's where you came in 
we worked at the same gym. Yeah. We started working out together. Your athletic background, you yeah. know, influenced me and you kind of taught me about, you know, squatting, deadlifting, benching, getting stronger, getting more muscle. And then and she taught me about sumo deadlifts. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And eating right. And eating right. Because it wasn't eating right. <laughs> That's kind of how I fell into it, yeah. literally like fell into it, mm. fell like in love with getting stronger and like seeing what my body could do with weights as mm. opposed to like flexibility and dance moves. Yeah. You know, it was totally different and I really loved it and that's like how we got into powerlifting. Mm. We kind of just, like that's what we like to do, mm -hmm. you know, at this stage in our lives. That was like the next step, yeah. you know, because we like to work out, sense. we like to be healthy, you know, we like to push, we like to see what the body can do. Right, kind of so. push our personal limits. Yeah, you know? yeah, so that's how it happened. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> any of you guys have any questions, powerlifting, training, or the weight cut, mm -hmm. you know, hit Or us comments. Up. Let us know. That's about it. So, till the next time. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.